Uh, it's nice to be back, kind of normal, see you guys, and, you know, hopefully uh, fans are here tomorrow, so it uh, should be good, and it's, it's awesome to be back out here uh, competing and ready to go for the season. Yeah, we're just trying to grow every single day and, uh, you know, keep learning the scheme, fine-tune it, and be the best that we can be every day. And um, the, the great part about training camp and coming from OTAs is just you're constantly trying to grow uh, day in and day out, and I think we're doing a good job of that. How similar is it to uh, some of the past teams that you've been in? Uh, there, is, there is similarities. You know, there's always changes, but there are, uh, as you progress through your career, I've gotten advice from uh, great veterans who always said, like, you have a toolbox, and every year and every experience that you ever have, you know, you kind of add those tools to that toolbox. Um, and so I just keep trying to grow as a player and uh, keep learning the offense and the system. But there is, there is similarities as you progress through your career. How important is the continuity up front as you, you got um, the, the spots on both sides are up for competition for you? Uh, we're just learning how to play with each other, learn how to do our fits, learning how to, you know, how to play within the offense. And so uh, just, and that comes with reps. So the more reps we can get with each other, uh, the better all that continuity will be. Okay. What are some of the differences, uh, you guys have had OTAs, but what are some of the differences between coach's style and some of the things you've seen in the past? And what are some of the things you like about the way practice are running without pads? Uh, I just, the, the the way we practiced today, just loved it. You know, it's high intensity. Um, we're getting after it and, you know, understanding the purpose of every single drill and then trying to maximize it. And when we, uh, you know, when we get these team reps, it's, it's full go. And so there's full understanding of what we're trying to get out of every drill and then um, attacking that as a player. Uh, both Caleb and Matt, they're both guys that I love and have played a lot with. Um, but you continue to grow year in and year out, and this is a great opportunity. And I think uh, it starts with personal relationships outside of the football field. Um, and I think we have a great room of guys, and so we're able to talk and communicate and have a good time outside of the field, uh, which only makes it easier on the field. And so when on the field, it's just reps, but we have that per personal connection, I think, now where we can really communicate with each other of what we expect or what we want from each other, and um, we just got to continue to grow through it with reps on the field. Yeah. We're still a, a few days away from this, but uh, putting pads on for the first time and then, you know, four straight or however it's going to work out, is that a circle the day on the calendar moment for, uh, for, for, an, for an offensive lineman, and what kind of benefits is that going to have for you? Yeah, always. I mean, I think the the first day of pads and any football players and the coaching staff you know career is like you know you always circle that day where it you know it's real out there now but that's you know it's full go it's no holding back on that and uh, you just you love to compete you love football and this is what we want to do and so getting back to that and thankful to be here this year and to to be able to do that in a normal training camp is uh, really exciting so I think that is something you you look forward to as a player but you got to take everything day by day, and we'll get there when we get there. But just attacking, attacking everything. Mike, hey Chris, uh, there's so much being made now of vaccinations, and obviously y'all hear about it before. But where do you stand in how things are going with the Falcons and also the first time? I think the the team and the league is giving guys the much information uh, so they can make their personal decisions, and I think we as uh, at least myself personally, I got vaccinated. I thought it was the best decision uh, uh, for me. And um, I think Coach Smith just tries to inform guys on, on, on what's going on. And that's really it. Just I think for me, me my personal decision, uh, I got vaccinated and uh, I'm glad I did. I think there's always discussions, discussions about everything, you know, outside of football with life. And I think vaccinations and day to day experiences is is something that's uh, brought up. But it's more it's very conversational based. And that's the, the great thing about being a football player in a football locker room is that you can have conversations with guys. And really, it's never heated as it 
you know, social media and stuff like that can get really toxic. Um, the great thing about a locker room is everybody can talk and work uh, with each other. It's one of the great things. What are your impressions on the uh, running back group and uh, the possibilities and the differences that you see uh, that can hit the field when you guys are prepared? I mean, those guys are working hard. We're working hard with each other, um, just trying to get better. But, you know, they're a really talented group, and they're attacking it every single day. And as an offensive lineman, it's, it's cool to get in the huddle with those guys and know we're all on the same page and have a common goal um, and just – when, when we have great relationships with those guys, it just makes you want to do your job better, play harder. Uh, their success is our success and vice versa. And uh, that's something just to take pride in. You know, I always love watching those guys go out there and compete um, during practice. So they break off a big run or, you know, finish a run hard. That's always, that's always something cool to, as an offensive lineman because you just want to block harder uh, for them. Awesome. He's a great locker room guy first, and then out, out here on the field every day, he's coming in, uh, working and doing his thing, and it's he's a great person to be around. We got time for two more. Following Matt walk up, what's the difference in Matt Hennessy year one versus year two? Oh, I, Matt's confident. I think um, understanding of, you know, every and I, I went through the same experiences as a rookie. Like you're trying to learn, you don't quite know how your routine and everything is, and. Once you kind of work through that, get your routine, know what to expect, I think uh, you get comfortable in that, and then you can really uh, grow. Last one, Kelly? It's just kind of more of a question. What has been the biggest difference between last year's camp and this year's camp? Just does it feel more normal after everything you guys did do last year to now this camp? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's nice not having a – you know, not wearing a mask and, you know, having you guys here instead of Zoom calls. I know I did enjoy those, but this is this is definitely way better. And uh, just seeing the I, – I live close by and just seeing, like, the signs and stuff out front, knowing fans are coming tomorrow, I think there's an excitement, a buzz that, you know, football's kind of back and, you know, moving on from last year. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. Cool, guys.